Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this short video, I wanna to talk to you about a supplement that's very important for anyone who's taking metformin or glucophage to take. It's a, a vital essential mineral and if you are a vitamin and if you don't get it, you can suffer severe long-term, even permanent consequences. So let's talk about this vitamin. Now, if you know someone that takes metformin or glucophage for prediabetes, for insulin resistance, for polycystic ovarian syndrome, or for infertility issues, please share this video with them because they really need this information. Doctors are very busy. We try to remember to tell people to take this vitamin, but sometimes we forget. Uh, and so this is very important to share if you know someone who's in that boat. Now let's talk about this. So metformin or glucophage, you may have heard of this. It's a, a very safe, very inexpensive medication that's first line treatment for um, PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, for prediabetes. Some doctors even use it in insulin resistant patients who are not prediabetic yet. And it's definitely one of the first line drugs used for type two diabetes. Like I said, it's very cheap. It's uh, the least bad of all the type two diabetes medications in my opinion. It's not perfect, but I'll t the reason that, that I think it's uh, okay to take for many people is because it works by uh, decreasing your liver's production of glucose. It decreases gluconeogenesis. That's one of the things it does. What it does not do is increase your pancreas' uh, secretion of insulin. And so it doesn't increase the insulin level in your bloodstream, which is a very good thing. It also makes your body's tissues more sensitive to the insulin that you're already making. So your liver is more insulin sensitive, your muscles, uh, even your ovaries, and then a, a couple of other tissues in the body may be even more sensitive to the insulin you're already making. So its mechanism of action is very good in that respect, but due also to its mechanism of action, up to a third of people who take metformin or glucophage, if they're not taking a vitamin B12 supplement, they can become either a little bit or a lot of bit vitamin B12 deficient. And that's a big deal. If, uh, if you're older, if you're over 50, you're actually much more susceptible to this. If you drink more than one alcoholic drink a day, you're much more susceptible to this because alcohol tends to also deplete your folate and your vitamin B12 levels. The deficiency in vitamin B12, the reason we care about it is it can cause some pretty disastrous symptoms, but if you're B12 deficient for long enough, it can become permanent. The damage can be permanent. And so one of the very first things most people notice when they're B12 deficient is they have a peripheral neuropathy or a neuropathy in their feet usually, but sometimes the hands as well described as a pins and needles kind of feeling. And some people with type two diabetes have this anyway, and so it's hard to know if it's from the B12 deficiency that they may or may not have, or just from the diabetic neuropathy. And so that's why it's doubly important for somebody with type two diabetes to take their vitamin B12 every day. And I'm gonna tell you at the end of this uh, video, which kind of B12 to take. So we've talked about the, 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 one of the things, which is peripheral neuropathy, but other problems that a vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to is worsening memory. And if it goes on for long enough, it can actually lead to a certain type of dementia, which is, can be permanent, so it's a big deal. Also, a vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to decreased cardiac output. Your heart may just not function as well as it could otherwise if you're vitamin B12 deficient. Now, there are multiple different B12 supplements you can buy on the market, but what I recommend you take is a methylated B12. And I'm gonna put a link down below to one that I know is, is safe and reliable. The reason I say take a methylated B12 is that there are millions of people out there who have an MTHFR gene mutation and they can't methylate B vitamins. So even if you're taking a, a good B12 supplement, if the B12 is not already methylated and you have an MTHFR gene mutation, then you can't utilize that 
vitamin B12 nearly as well as if it were methylated. So everybody just ought to go, if you're gonna buy a B12 supplement, get a methylated one. That way you don't have to spend the money if money's an issue to find out if you have the MTHFR gene mutation or not, okay? So I'm gonna put a link to, the, to a really reliable methylated vitamin B12 down in the notes below. So that's it, that's what you gotta do. If you're on metformin or glucophage for any reason, any medical reason, you absolutely must take a B12 supplement and I recommend you take a methylated B12 supplement. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel because every time I have a bright idea, I try to make a video. And this actually came from a comment I got on my Facebook page that said, hey dummy, you should make a video about this. And so I am like, no, you're right, I should make a video about this. Also, if my videos have really helped improve your health, you can click on my Patreon link. It's right down below. It's a quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me have more time to make more videos just like this one. Also, Nisha, my wife and I are live on my Facebook page every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time and we would love it if you would join us there. All right, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.